I often get asked how to identify overlapping dates and time in Excel. For example, let's say you have a list of appointments scheduled for the month. If you plot them visually in a calendar layout, you can see the appointments B and C overlap, as do appointments E and F. But it's not always practical to create a visual representation of your dates like this. Sometimes a formula is better. And we can use some product to perform some logical tests. The first one is whether the start date is less than the end dates. My date is in an Excel table, so we get the structured references instead of regular cell references, which makes the formula easier to read and write. My second logical test is considered AND criteria, so I'm going to put in a multiplication sign. And the second logical test is whether the end date is greater than the start dates. I'm going to close parentheses on my second logical test close parentheses on some product, and then I just want to check if the sum of those logical tests is greater than one. Let's take a look. So we can see the dates on the first row don't overlap, the second and third dates do, the fourth one doesn't, the fifth and sixth do, and the last one doesn't. Let's take a look at how this formula is calculating. The first logical test, we'll press F9 to evaluate, returns all trues. So this start date is less than all of the end dates in the table. The second logical test, only the first end date is greater than all of the start dates. So we only have one match. If I expand the formula bar, and I'm just going to Alt and Enter to wrap it down onto the next line. So what happens here is the two arrays of true and false values are multiplied by one another. So true times true, and when you multiply in true and false values, you get their numeric equivalent of one for true and zero for false. So the first two is one times one, which gives you one. And the rest are all one times zero, which gives you zero. We can see that if we evaluate them with F9, only the first row meets both criteria. And when some product sums that result, we get is one greater than one, and we get false. If we look at the second one, and we do the same evaluation, F9, and then this one, F9. Let's wrap them down onto another row so you can see them above one another. You can see the second two both return true. So only the second and third rows match both criteria. And if we evaluate those results, we get two, which some product evaluates and the result is true. So that's how the formula is working. If we look at times, you'll see it works in the same way. So we can do the first logical test is the start time less than the end times, and is the end time greater than the start times. Close parentheses, greater than one, and you can see it correctly evaluates. So the formula works for both dates and times. Now, if your data table contains groups, for example, multiple meeting rooms like I have here, and you want to identify if each meeting room has an overlap, then we can use the filter function to return the list of start and end times just for that particular meeting room. I'll do it over here. Now, filters only available if you have a 365 license or Excel 2021 onwards. So what we want to do is return a list of the end times. So I'm going to filter the end time column. And then my include criteria is a logical test that simply says if the meeting rooms equal the meeting room on the current row. Let's make this a bit wider. So you can see filters returned the end times for meeting room A. We're going to use this in our formula for some product. So I'll copy that and then we'll write our some product formula. So the first logical test is, is the start time less than the end times? But here I want to use filter to return the end times. Close my parentheses on my logical test times my new logical test, which is, is the end time greater than the start times. Now here I want to use filter again, but instead of returning the end times, I want to return the start times. I'm going to close parentheses on my logical test, close some product, and then check if it's greater than one. 
and you can see it's correctly identified that meeting room B has an overlap here and meeting room A has an overlap here. I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download the Excel file from this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.